If you're like me, learning about the chemistry of our homes makes you want to learn more, to make better choices for your family, especially when you get to this exciting place where you start to bring things into your home. But as you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there, natural, non-toxic, <laughs> great keywords, but they are just the beginning. So always take the time to look deeper and learn more. As Corbett and I have expanded our knowledge about the science of homes, I've had to make some choices to not become overwhelmed. By learning directly from scientists and experts in the indoor environment, I try to avoid these six classes of chemicals to reduce harmful exposure in our home. Number one, fluorinated chemicals, also known as PFAS, often found in repellents, nonstick coatings, and greaseproof packaging. Number two, antimicrobials, especially in flooring and products that come in contact with foods and liquids. Number three, flame retardants, often found in foam insulation and furniture. Number four, bisphenols and phthalates, often found in plastic because even at low levels, these can disrupt hormones. Number five, some solvents, like the really strong smelling ones that inherently make you suspicious. And number six, certain metals that we know cause harm, like mercury, lead, arsenic, and cadmium. It may still feel daunting, but knowing a handful of chemicals I can actively avoid bringing into my home helps me sleep better at night. Try to remember to look more closely for those six classes of chemicals when you see good-for-you products. It will proactively keep those home chem headaches at bay.